Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my Life is Strange 2 Let's Play. So episode 4 was released on Thursday, I'm really sorry that this video is a little bit late. I am currently in the process of moving so I have been so busy and I also just got back from Gamescom. Speaking of Gamescom, I did get to speak to my sponsor, Elgato. If you guys are wondering how I look so good and bright in this video, I am currently using their Elgato key light. It's an amazing product. It fits so well on my desk and I am currently recording videos in my bedroom. But soon that's gonna change because I'm gonna have my very own office in the new house. However, the Elgato key light is so space saving. I always struggle to say space saving. So please do go check out the link in my description if you guys wanna go see what other products as well as the key light Elgato has to offer. But enough about my life, let's get into the life of Sean and Daniel Diaz and from what I've seen on social media, I reckon things are about to get rocky for the boys. As if they haven't been rocky enough already, you know, it just seems like the whole world at this point is against these poor, poor brothers. And I just want Once to adopt time, them. In a while. I love the intro wild so much. World. There were two wolf brothers. I like how it rejogs your memory of like the whole wolf. thing. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's Makes when me the sad. big brother discovered. Makes me sad every that the time. One was not an ordinary wolf. And I've but seen a it. Super wolf. How many times? Four times now. Well, three they times. They discovered a secret hideout where and they could two. train. Three Day on and four. Night, they were happy. Yada yada yada. This but was all episode two. Got very sick, and they had to move on. <gasps> the puppy. The brothers made it to the home of their but ancestors. Still not over it. And oh, the old grandma and granddad as well. Took care of them. That was the last. Unfortunately. Episode, which is the crazy. The hunters were hot on their trail, and found them. Oh no, it wasn't. It was the episode before the that. That was two. Had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. The weed farm. That was number three. Ah oh, yes. They soon entered the old forest of the giants. Because it all got demonetized. Where they met a pack of I stray remember. Dogs I remember. Who worked Sean. in a secret farm. A weed farm. The brothers don't, joined don't them. Don't demonetize me. And worked too. hard. I swear, the the palms, the money for trees. The That's it. The money trees. They were happy to find others like them. Catnip. And everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <laughs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. So now we're on the run again. The big brother was badly wounded. Loved my life. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Oh no, I forgot Daniel was pretty much missing at the preview. See, this is what I mean. We saw him. I've seen him with an eye patch on. Life is Strange 2 is a story based game that highlights player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences and impact the world around you and your brother. Choose wisely. Well, my brother ain't even in it, mate. So they aren't going to impact him much. Just me. Please don't be feasting on my insides. <gasps> is that a deer? Is that Rachel Amber? Oh my god. It's Rachel Amber. Aww, and a squirrel. Wasn't- who was- wasn't it the caretaker? His, like, spirit animal was a squirrel? Is spirit animal offensive? Should I not be saying that? I'm fairly sure I shouldn't be saying spirit animal, even though Life is Strange, the original, had a lot of references to them. This is 
wasn't you now. You don't have an eye and you had a mohawk. We gone back in time. We gone so hey, back Sean. in time. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. Where the frick are no we? Way. It's all good. I wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? Oh, we're daydreaming. Okay. I was gonna say, what the heck is going on? I'm alone, Sean. I'm sure I don't know what to do. I'm sure I'm trying to find you, dude. I'm not just gonna leave you out there, am I? I'm scared. You imbecile. Don't get so close to that edge. Please. He's gonna, he's gonna jump Come in. Come and get me. He's gonna jump Yes. I, I swear. Called it. Called <sighs> it. <sighs> Stop. Could have written this game. Okay. At least we're in a hospital. It looks like a very boring hospital. God, is this what the American healthcare system gets you? A hospital in Northern California. Two months after the blast. Two months. Holy crap. Where the hell is Daniel? How has he survived two months by himself? He's a Fuck. child. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. I wonder if anyone in the hospital knows who Sean Yay. is. Stupid reality shows. You watching The Bachelor? I've never watched The Bachelor in my life. This must be my that. punishment. Love Island. Love Island is more me. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked. Okay, so he's blind in one eye. He's pretty much lost an eye because there was a freaking piece of glass in it. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here, woke up crying. Trust me, I know how tough this is. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Tap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there, alone. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are in Anno. Oh no, we missed his birthday. That makes me even more sad. Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Glad he's doing fine. Oh, Chris. I'm so glad Chris survived. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Who's Joey? Joey. Wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. Aww. I think he really liked Cass. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Well, I didn't mean to. Stop, stop shitting on my past choices, okay? Let's try and draw. Let's hope that the drawing glitch isn't back. Oh, he's got so many scars on him. Little buddy. What are we gonna do with you? What are we drawing? Ooh, outside. Oh, see his vision? That's so tough. Actually, this is like the perfect time. So, my cousin lost his sight three years so ago. So hard to focus. <laughs> Gotta practice way more. His full sight. He lost Not giving up. full vision in both of his eyes. I guess that's an okay start. In a car crash. But I can keep going. Sean, would you show up? I'm trying to raise money for my cousin. And he's doing a back-to-back -back Tough Mudder. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, so you guys, if you have any money, like, please feel free to donate. He's currently trying to set up a martial arts gym for other members of the disabled community to, like, help rehabilitate them and just have, like, a safe space for them to train. We're gonna draw a staircase. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description to his, I think it's a GoFundMe. Um, 
feel free to donate if you can. Um, he lost his sight at 23, and now he's now he's 26. He's a year older than me. So yeah, it's it's a really important cause, and it would mean a lot to me because he's Wish just I could find the best a dude. To freedom. Sorry, didn't mean to take away from like Sean's trauma and I got an achievement but you guys can't see because it it's on my steam overlay um, we can call someone yeah thanks for the card agent Maria can't Elena wait to text you Flores call any time day or night if you want to talk can't catch shit <sighs> zero depth perception yeah I bet it's all thrown Goodbye, off sports I mean, you weren't the sportiest dude around. You, um... <gasps> Cass's letter! I miss Cass so much. <sighs> Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. I truly- I'm glad she's not lost her sense of humour. I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury, hurting. Just glad that I can still play guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. As I'm sure you know, my sweet compadre, still working on that Espanol, <laughs> missed my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us glitter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're gonna... I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation and you'll get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked again under a new moonlight. It's a big world and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song, Love and Peace, Cass. What a little sweetheart. Aww, his stick and poke. He now has such an identifier though. He's blind in one eye and he has a tattoo on his right arm. Like, that's a, that's a lot of personalization. Is that the word? Individuality. Okay, we called someone, apparently. I don't think we I don't think we can get out of bed. Sick. We are legit trapped in here. Can we call again? Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Oh, Joey must be our nurse then. Joey Joey, Joey, Joey. Joey. Joey, excuse me. Yo. Hey Hello, Joey. Jessica. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Oh, he hey, seems Joey. nice already. Hey, man. A bromance. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. <laughs> so how you feeling today? Any headaches? Joey's Soccer well pain? tall. <sighs> no. And fit. It's all good. Well, Sorry, this is Joey. your final test before. Oh. Mm, you know. The trial. Before they check you out. Check me out to Joey. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Oh, Sean. Nice retina response. Okay. Thank you. Now I worked on it myself. Try to follow the light as well as you can. Okay. 
Come on, Sean. You've been there before. I'm doing it. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Thanks, mate. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more Aww. now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. What? Oh god, this is well hard. Your depth perception will always be oh affected. Oh my god. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. This is well tough, man. Yeah, I know. Ah! It's hard. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, good job. I did okay. it. Oh my god, my Let's depth do it again. perception is awful. I think he brought that closer. Damn, <gasps> you hit a double today. Oh, Joey, you yeah, tricked me. that's enough. What? Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared? Oh, cleared from hospital. I'm a pirate. Patient cleared. Get me out of here. Patient, Patient cleared. cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. Who's this? He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is oh. watch him. Yeah, the agent. true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if Whoa, I finish with my eyes. patient? He looks good for now, right? She's Just got like honey come eyes. Come back when I'm finished with him. She gonna get me off the sure. case. Come on, Agent Flores. I'll swing by later, Sean. I believe in you. Stay cool. <laughs> I love him. He is one of my favorite characters of any Life is Strange game in the like five minutes that I've spoken to him. She will also be one of my favorites if she can get me out of this case. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. Uh, language. How much longer? Until sure. it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. Uh, you might spend the rest of your life in me. prison or you can talk to me. It was my brother. Like you, Cat, didn't kill anyone or innocent until proven guilty. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. It was. That's what it was. It I was told you so definitely many times. a tornado. I have no clue why the place was trapped. A preteen tornado. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. 
You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. Oh, crap. Whose idea was it? Finn's. His? Yes. Or yours? Huh? His. Finn. It was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? He lied? He lied. I didn't want to help. But he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was gonna happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. I am telling the yeah. truth. I'm just maybe dodging the know. fact that my brother and is what responsible. what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? No, she didn't know anything about it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. Oh no. Oh no, no, they no, no. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? Yeah, you he said wouldn't he had want leads. her. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Does she have a pink flip phone? I hate her. Sorry, Finn. He did do it. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. She doesn't look that badly beat up, if I'm honest. wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Oh, can we listen? Can we move? No. She's got a son. Okay. She calls someone Miho, which I'm fairly sure. I don't know what that means in Spanish, but I know they say it one day at a time. So I'm like, does she have a son? Damn it, I don't know Spanish. And now she's speaking Spanish. Is that the only thing I can look at? Jeez Louise, there's a lot of right waiting around in this, uh, in this episode already. Had to wait around for Joey. Now we gotta wait around for Agent Flores. Sorry about that. It's alright, mate. Take okay. time, love. Can't see you anyway. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. Oh. We want to find him too. She says that a lot. Don't yeah, know, I can't yeah. Trust her. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway. Thanks I for talking to me. She is genuinely trying to help. I think Sean's just like angry I'll at the world. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Which, I mean, can you blame the dude for being angry at the world? He's been dealt the worst <sighs> card of all time. Bless his little cottons. I quite like his hair in a buzz cut though. Not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty sick. Better than that crappy mohawk hawk I gave him in the last Look episode. Out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. <gasps> Sit down so we can get this show going. I, I want to be his best mate. He's so sick. I so, love him. How did your interview with Scully go? Ha! <laughs> Oh, I love that X-Files reference. I'm free or an interrogation? Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying. <laughs> They'll believe in us, right? This. 
They have to believe in us. Now let's check this out. Especially because he's a good dude. Oh no, am I gonna vomit? The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. That's what you, you gotta do. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Jail for life or so positive. I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Jail time? Now as for your room, wait, this mate. is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Oh. Oh, it makes me cringe. What? Coat the area using the swab. My eye feels and weird. Cream. My eyes twitching. Oh no! Don't put cotton bud in there, as I. I don't even mind cotton buds, but that's then wrap disgusting. wrap it up with clean dressing, and you're the shit. <laughs> Remember, Can we get a sick eye you got to do this four times a day. I won't forget. That's gonna be tough when he's out on the road. Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. Oh. It really helped. Cool. Bros. I'm glad when I can make a ch Oh. No. Oh shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no Message. smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. What towel? <sighs> Catch you later. Bad dude. What towel? What towel are we checking out, <sighs> Joey? Mate? You are her boss. Yeah. Thanks for the I card, agent. I already read that. What's it under? What's under there? <gasps> Joey, what? what have you snuck in? Wow. A legend. Seen you in a long time. Legends only, and Joey is one of them. What an absolute nutcase. How the hell is he snuck that in here? That's impressive. Joey, colour me impressed, my friend. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? Where would he go? Back to Chris's? Ten year old by himself? He's only ten! Oh, there. Oh my god, he's a baby. He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. Without if spoilers, because some of you guys might have played all through this by now, where do you think Daniel would go? Because he doesn't know that many places. Cops. He'd just go down to Mexico, maybe? Try and find his way there Wait. himself. What's that? Super wolf. Huh? Had a few Seven. bears. It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere. Who's Jacob? <gasps> He's safe. Who's Jacob? I could see him again. Who the <gasps> freak a doodle do is Jacob? Had a few bears. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. We gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking when you come looking for your super wolf comic. It's waiting for you. Jake. Who is Jacob? I'm gonna have to Google it because I cannot remember who Jacob is in the slightest. Jacob, life is strange too. Oh, Jacob's like the dead Christian guy from the weed farm. Oh my god, sick. 
So Jake's looking after him. Agent 420, gimme hot dogs. Cassidy the Wild v Hannah the Wise. I don't think I read all of this. Me, two story house shit are, blah, 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 is freaking me out. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, so I didn't really read these. Depression night. Everyone shared their worst memory. Everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Got a new haircut tonight. Feel like a different person, but I like it. Is there anything Finn can't do? I love this art style. They look like little chibi, chibi, chibi characters. A fucking woo. I'm a swear wolf. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix this shit. So fucking tired of running away. Oh, okay. So, met the new workers, uh, had a long talk with Jacob, he's a little, he's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Okay, so we had to find out where Jacob was. I gotta get to him. Okay. Okay. This is info we can work I've with, gotta Sean. gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. And with that cliffhanger, I think I'm gonna leave this part here, guys, because I have to continue to pack and I also need to get this video edited and uploaded so that it's ready for you over the weekend whilst I am moving house. So thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. At least we know where Daniel maybe and i did just see a cross so maybe he is at safe haven maybe this is gonna be daniel but you guys will just have to tune into the next episode i'm gonna try and get these up as quickly as possible as i know i was a little bit delayed at the beginning of this episode uh with everything going on so i will probably have another part up tomorrow for you all so definitely keep an eye out for that and i will speak to you all then bye guys mm -hmm.